I have high cholesterol. Not super high, but high enough that my doctor seems worried. I'd like to see you get your LDL number down a bit, she'd say. Maybe you should go on a statin. Really? I don't get it. I eat pretty well, and I exercise. Are drugs really the first answer? There are so many opinions out there, it's hard to know what to believe. I don't want to be stupid, but I'd rather not take statins if I don't have to. How can I know if I even have a problem? Turns out, there's a diagnostic test that I'd never heard of. It's called a coronary CT calcium score, and my doctor promised that if my score was low, she'd stop bringing up statins. This CT scan measures calcium in the arteries that supply blood to the heart. This calcium accumulates in the early fatty plaques in the artery lining and can be detected the same way that x-rays look at the calcium of your bones. The amount of calcium buildup is given a score that ranges from zero to several thousand. Higher numbers equate to a greater likelihood of having a heart attack or stroke in the next five to 10 years. This test is recommended for women over 50 and men over 40 who possess at least two of the following risk factors. Most insurance policies won't cover this test, but costs in most US cities are below $150, which is well worth it because many people only learn they have heart disease once it's too late, after they've had a heart attack or stroke. So why wait? If you know your risks now, you can still make changes to your lifestyle, such as eating better, losing weight, exercising more, and quitting smoking. You might even decide to take cholesterol or blood pressure lowering medicine. Fortunately, my CT calcium score was mild, so my doctor agreed that statins aren't necessary just yet, and that better diet and exercise might be enough. That's great to know. Ask your doctor if this test might be right for you. Tremendousness!